Lower Fort Garry is one of the finest collections of early stone buildings in Western Canada. It was built for Governor George Simpson of the Hudson Bay Company between 1831 to 1848. Hello, good morning, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you for asking. Yeah. So my name is Johnny Garton and I am the chef of the big house oh. here at Lower Fort Garry. Oh, okay. So my job is to cook for all the officers and their accompanying guests mm -hmm. every single day. Um, which includes a breakfast, tea time, lunch, tea time, well, high tea, I should say, and then a dinner. Oh, five times a day. Yes. Now, it sounds like a, a daunting task. It oh. sounds like a, there's a lot to do, but okay. I'm predominantly focused on high tea uh, and supper. Um, okay. Dinner is pretty important as well, but it, it's not as much work. Oh, um, see. A lot of the time we are get, or we are preparing to have a massive meal at the end of the day. Okay. Um, so, some of the things that I might be making uh, would be like a bison tongue stew. I keep pointing over here because this, this is the dining room. Yeah. This is where everyone eats. Mm -hmm. uh, but I might be making like bison tongue stews. I might make standing puff pastes. Um, uh, things. Those are things for dinner. But for for supper. Uh, it's a lot of work, so I'm going to be oh. making two main meat courses, uh, okay. and so it's it's very it's more ideal if I can have a red and white meat course. So I'll have poultry and maybe some form of like, I might have uh, beef. beef or venison or whatever I, I have at the time. Um, but they cook, uh, they eat very well. Sometimes the white meat is sturgeon. Yeah. Um, because right now in 1851, we are doing a lot of fishing in the Red River and sturgeon are bountiful here. We so are, more time uh, is spent on uh, preparing the dinner. There's a lot of time, <laughs> uh, except for on days where I'm preparing things to go with this, uh, this oven here. Open. Oh, oh. So this is my, my back summer bake oven. Okay. Um, and it is a, uh, it is an ordeal. So, so, to bake in there is an, an all-day event oh, and so uh, effectively all I do is I I, uh, I heat up the oven in the morning and then I bake with that heat all day um, and brandy oh. um, if you're an upper-class uh, gentleman of the fort you have a lot more access to different types of alcohol so in these bottles you might have port or sherry or sack uh, okay. but if you are like myself or even Miss Hawk over there, uh, you're going to be getting rum as your ration. And so you're not going to be having very much in the selection of, of what kinds of alcohols you have, unless you purchase it. Um, but we, we definitely enjoy uh, a, good, a good cup of, of, of uh, rum here and there. Oh. oh, what are you doing? I'm flying wool. So oh, okay. I've already spun some wool from a sheep, and now I'm just turning it into a yarn that I can knit with. If I just had one string, it would come unwound, and then I would just have a big mess. So, so how long will it take for you to, to finish one? Um, the spinning or just the plying? Just the plying. A couple, maybe like an hour or two. It's a pretty quick job. Oh. I just have to sit here and press the wheel. It does oh, okay. my job for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's dyed with indigo, so blue. Oh, indigo, yeah. yeah. This one was done with carrot tops. And it faded in the sun, so it's yellow. Mm -hmm. Nice color. Sometimes. Yeah. And then these are the other colors? Yeah, so I have things like matter, which is a plant, um, marigolds, which are flowers that come from my garden. Yeah, wow. Um, and then cochineal is a beetle from South America, one that you still use in your modern dyes to make bread. Did you make your stew? Is that um, a beef stew? Yes, it is beef stew. I made it by slicing up a bunch of vegetables. We had some potatoes, some carrots and peas and onions, chopped them up all nice, threw them in a pot with some oh. beef broth and then made some dumplings on top. And it looks kind of sloppy, but it tasted very, very good. So your loved one uh, loves you if you cook well. <laughs> well, I hope so. I'm hired, so I get to make a lot of oh. money doing this. But... <laughs> Yes. One time I look for you and then order from you that kind of stew. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>